Another one of my Arduino-based projects. This is a model train fast clock. It runs off of a Arduino Uno. Uses a small four-digit display, a push button, an LED, a pot, and a small speaker. Right now it's running at a 10 times rate. You can watch the time go by every 10 clicks. The minute will tick. The colon in the time clicks once per real second. And the time goes up one time every 10 of those ticks. There is a speaker that lets you monitor the time. Uh, sometimes might not be very much fun to listen to over a long period of time. Just put a switch in the speaker lead and that'll disconnect the speaker. So I'll show you how it works. I'll press the reset button. There it goes. The first setting you can make is the actual speed time. Because uh, 1 through 12, I'll just set it to 4. You push the push button, it accepts that speed time, it lets you set the starting hour. So we'll just set it to start at 8 o'clock in the morning. So we'll set that to 8. We'll press this to accept the time. We'll set the minutes to 0. Press that to accept it. So this shows you the clock is going to start at 8 o'clock. Press the switch one more time. And the fast clock starts. So since I set it at four times real time, every minute uh, of the scale time is 15 seconds of real time. So if you count 15 clicks, it will then click up to the next minute of this, the scale time. The clicks, by the way, are uh, exactly the same clicks as WWV uses, which is why they may sound familiar. If you press the red button while well, the clock is running, the clock stops. And at the same time, that time is saved in EEPROM on the Arduino board. If you press the button again, the time picks up from where it left off. Once the time is saved on, on the EEPROM and the Arduino board, if you reset the chip, and if you don't do anything after about 20 seconds, it will let you restart at the last saved time, and it will restart automatically. So there it picks up the save time. It shows you the time that it will start at 8.02. And there it goes, it started up. So it's a fairly simple project, uh, just uses the clocking capability inside the uh, Arduino.